Good evening, baseball fans, and welcome to a huge weekend of Bundesliga baseball as the Berlin Flamingos head to the Dortmund Wanderers in what has become a two-game shootout for the wildcard berth. Both teams are currently tied, coming into this final weekend having seen off the challenge of the Bonn Capitals. The playoff starts now for these two teams. Let's play some ball. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain. Welcome to episode 13. Hopefully not unlucky for us at the Berlin Flamingos on the baseball journeyman. And as you can see, it is absolutely enormous, enormous times here at the Berlin Flamingos. Two games to play against the Dortmund Wanderers. The Bonn Capitals, it hasn't eliminated them officially, which is a little bit concerning. But they've played all their games. They've played their 28. We have a series against the Dortmund Wanderers to play. Um... So I don't understand why they're not eliminated, but effectively they are eliminated. So the fact that we're above them right now is promising. I think that means if we win one, lose one, we should go into the wild card game. Uh, but I'm not completely sure. So if you do know, let, <laughs> let me know. You could save me uh, some panic or send me into panic if I need to be panicking. Um, but yeah, it's 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 massive. We could make the playoffs in our second season at the club. The Untouchables have already run away with it. We, kind of, we didn't really expect to be uh, that close to them. Uh, I don't necessarily think we expected to be in the chance of a while. I certainly didn't expect to beat the Bond Capitals this season, that's for sure. Uh, so it's it's gone really, really well this season. We have a quick look at the team home screen here. You can see coming into the final two games, Byron Mills Jr. is batting 500. That is ridiculous. Uh, Burra is uh, right up there as well. Uh, and Drew Campbell. All these guys are currently over the the, the, the the sort of the current club record for highest batting averages. So they're absolutely smashing it. Uh, runs batted in. Byron Mills and Burra are both above the club record for that as well. Uh, they both actually have a chance of breaking record for hits in a single season. We'll get to that during the game, though. Uh, Benninghoff is continuing to, to run the show for us uh, in terms of pitching. He is going to go today in Game 1. Um, we want to try, just want us to put our best man against their best man and hope that we're better. Uh, now, two games to catch you up on. They were against uh, the Cologne uh, Cardinals. Game one here, it was actually a good start from Coletti. Uh, he went 5.2 innings, didn't give up a run, only gave up four hits and two walks. And Vindermeer uh, came on, or Vindermeyer, and was absolutely brilliant. Only one hit in his 3.1 innings work. So that was a really, really good pitching performance from us. Um, and yeah, we did really, really well. Uh, Rice Shirts came in, replacing the suspended Jimmy Kowale after his uh, throwing punches <laughs> <laughs> against uh, against the Bond Capitals. Uh, he went two for three with three RBIs. Absolutely wonderful stuff. Friedendorfer got two RBIs as well, uh, as did Vockel, the center fielder. So just a really, really good performance there from us to, uh, to win that one. And then game two, again, it was tight-ish. We, we were just a little bit better uh, than them. Um which was good to see. Uh, Benninghoff was absolutely brilliant, and I tell you who else was brilliant was Rice Shirts, four for five in this one. Friday got three RBIs, uh, which was which is good to see. With Rice Shirts, you can see there he had a he had a triple, which is where I think a lot of his RBIs. Oh, there's only one on there, but anyway, he had a really oh, that was his one RBI. Uh, preparation, it's worth everything. Um, and look at that, Benninghoff, absolutely sensational, complete game from him, only giving up the one earned run. Um, yeah, it just just really really good stuff. Now for this game week, it was actually Rice shirts that won Player of the Week. So it came in for uh, for for Jimmy Kowale and was the best player in the league. So absolutely amazing. You love to see it. Uh, the only other piece of news to update you on, I'll give you a quick look at all the stats for the season um, while I do this. Is oh, that's not what we wanted to do. It's this one. Um, Kinnapin, our uh, sort of backup, shortstop, first baseman. Uh, we, we've assigned him to a one-year extension. I think he's a, he's going to be a useful player for us. Um, so we've done that. You can see that both our starters are in good form coming into this one. So let's hope that continues. The batting side of things we can see there. Uh, Burra absolutely killing it. It's really it's, it's just going really really well. Um, yeah. So this is Kinnapin here. He uh, was signing to a one-year extension. I just think he's a useful player to keep around. He's young as well, so he'll be here for next season uh, as well. All right, it's a massive, massive game. Let's go and check the lineups. All right, and here we go now. There is a change at the top of the order. Kyle Asher has come in to be the designated hitter. Reisha just... He's really, really dropped away. Uh, so Asher is going to lead us off a designated hitter. Drew Campbell bats second in left field. Byron Mills, the catcher, bats third. Burra bats four. He's that second base. Friedenhofer, uh, he bats five at third base. Prade bats six in center, uh, right field. Sorry, Rice Shirts comes in still at first base with a suspended Jimmy Kowale. Uh, he bats seven. Vockel in center field bats eight. It's Tonus Pepe, the shortstop, batting nine. It's Benninghoff taking the mound for us. We're up against Matuch Shushchek. 
Um, this season, ERA a smidgen over six, uh, which he did last year as well. So that's roughly his standard, it would appear. A uh, whip of 155, ERA plus of 108, a war of 1.1. So he's not the worst, but if we can get a hold of him, he's obviously there to be had. All right, and here we go. It is the biggest game in Flamengo's short history with us at the club. And it's going to be the change that I've made, Asher, coming in to, uh, to, to lead us off here. The reason I made the change, as I said, uh, Roshek is a good base runner, but he's, he's last couple of weeks, his uh, batting average has dropped down into the 200s. Asher, you can see at the top there, is batting 353 this season as he's hit to lead us off. Um, and basically, his season average had just passed Roshek, so he's not as good on the bases, but... Uh, we have made the change there. Drew Campbell comes in batting 395 this season. He, we know his on-base percentage is something ridiculous. It's like pushing up towards 700. Uh, on this occasion, though, he's popped out, and that will be the first out of the innings. Now, in comes Byron Mills Jr. Now, he needs two hits to set a new club record for hits in the season. He's batting 500, so that would suggest that he's going to get there. That is one of those hits. He has now tied the club record for a single season for hits. Uh, Asher goes over there to third, and that's the 50th hit this season for Byron Mills Jr. Uh, this brings up Burrow. Now, Burrow needs three hits to break the club record, so he obviously needs to go one better than uh, than Byron Mills Jr., but these two have just been going hit for hit for the longest time now. Unfortunately, there he strikes out, and that's going to bring Friedendorfer up with two out runners at the corners, batting 304 this season. What can he do? Friedendorfer loads the bases with a walk. And it's going to be up to Prade now, who has 99 career hits. What a time this would be to get number 100. Oh, and two's the count. Prade. Oh, he strikes out. And that ends the first. A really good opportunity for us there to take the lead in this crucial, crucial game. And we've kind of muffed it, haven't we? Uh, Borna comes in to lead them off, batting 377 up against the Hoff. What can the mighty Benninghoff do? That is the big question here, isn't it? Now, he needs 13 strikeouts. To get to, oh, there's one of them. He needs 12 strikeouts to go fourth all time in uh, in there in the single season uh, sort of tally. So uh, this is of course his last game in the regular season. So he needs 12 more. He needs 11 more strikeouts to go fourth all time. Um, and if this is anything to go by, he just might get there. Uh, Criascio comes up to bat now, batting 619 on a 17 game hit streak, and that is lined out there to Roche, uh, Ro excuse me, Rice shirts and. That ends the first inning. So, good stuff there from the Hoff. It's Reichert, speaking of the devil, to lead us off. Batting 500 in his limited time playing this season for us. And he strikes out. That is one away. And that's going to bring up Vockel now, who is batting 327. He tends to have good games and bad games, to be honest. That's going to get caught out there. And hopefully it's not going to be a bad game for him. This brings up Pape, who has been... Surprisingly good, batting 319, but we know that he's a little bit of a strikeout merchant. There it is, and that will do it for the top of the second. We, well, not quite as impressive that time round, were we? David Clawson comes in the bat for them, batting 319 this season, up against the Hoff. What can the Hoff do with him? He can sit him down. Go and have a think about what you've done, Clawson. That's one away. It brings up Adrizana now, who is batting 351. Owen oh, two's the count. Is the Hoff going to strike out another one? No, he's not. It's popped up, though. It should be caught out there by Pride in right field. There it is. Two away. And it's still coming up. Hopefully, he remains still. 242. It's a first pitch swing. And that is popped up. It should be caught out there by Drew Campbell. He's a good defensive player. And he makes the catch. Hoff looks good through two, doesn't he? Let's hope that continues. Back to the top of the order. It's Asher, who was hit first time around. Let's see if he can get some revenge here. He has, he has, he's got it straight back up the middle, and that is a leadoff single for Asher. And it's going to be Campbell coming up now, who is 0 for 1. Let's see what he can do. First pitch swing again, he lays down a bunt. Is it a good one? Asher looks as though he's going to get the second. It's a decent bunt. And this gives Bill, uh, what's his name? Mills Jr. now a chance to break the club record and drive in a run if he can get a piece of this. 1-1 one one is his record, and there it is. There's a club record for Byron Mills Jr., an RBI for him as well, and it's 1-0 to the Flamingos. So Leo Burra comes in now with Mills at second. He is 0-1 today. 
And Burra walks to put two on for Friedendorfer. He's, oh, he got, we walked last time up, didn't he? What can you do this time? Two and one's the count. Friedendorfer gets a good piece of it into left field. It's just a single. I don't know if Mills Jr. is going to score. No, he's not. But it loads the bases for Prade. And again, Prade, I say to you, he has 99 career hits. What a time to get 100. First pitch swing from Prade. And he has popped it up. Is it deep enough? It's going right back. It's only just stayed in. Is Byron Mills Jr. going to score? Yes, he is. So it's an RBI. It's a sack fly, I should say, for Prade. Burra goes to third as well. Two out runners at the corners for Reichert. And can he drive in some runs here? Another first pitch swing. He has grounded at the third. And that's not going to get the job done. But we take a 2-0 lead. And that could be very, very important. And as the form that the Hoff is on here, it looks even more important. It's Bolzer coming in for them. Batting 263 this season. Full count and another strikeout for the Hoff. Oh, he looks on today. It is Burkhart coming in now, batting 127 this season. One and two's the count. He's not good enough to face the Hoff. That's two away. Both of them strikeouts. Uh, Cone? I don't know how you say that. Comes up. Batting 175 this season. Can Hoff strike out the side? Of course he can. What a performance from Tyler Benninghoff. Fifth most strikeouts now with 172. Um... I want to say he needed 13, so he's probably got about 10 of them already, hasn't he? Fockel to lead us off here. 0 for 1 he is. Top of the fourth with a two-run lead. And Vockel strikes out. Brings up Tonus Pape, who's 0 for 1. Another first pitch swing, and Tonus Pape rips it down the third base line, and that is a one-out single for our shortstop. Excellent work there from Pape. Asher comes up 1 for 1. He's already been hit, of course, as well. Asher hits it. Pops it up. It's going back is the right fielder. I don't think it's going to leave. And Tonus Pape has no interest in trying to get the second. So that's two away. Drew Campbell now who is 0 for 1. He walked I think last time up didn't he? No he laid down a sack bunt. That's right. And that is not going to get the job done. And that'll do it for the fourth. Not quite as successful that one. And let's see what the Hoff can do. He has six strikeouts already. Borna comes back up to bat. And he is, of course, 0 for 1 today, as they all are. Another strikeout for the Hoff. It was a full count. A little bit concerned about that. <laughs> he got away with it. It's Christoph coming up now. He's 0 for 1 today. First pitch swing. It's well hit into center field. Vockel's going back. He can't get there. There goes the perfect game. It was looking suspiciously like it could be for a while there, wasn't it? But it's a double, a one-out double for the Wanderers. And, of course, tying run comes to the plate now. It's Chris Shardo, who is 0 for 1. 1 that knows the count. Get back on it, Benninghoff. That's popped up. It should be a simple catch there for Reichert. Nope, it's going to be left there for Burra. That's two away. And can Clawson now just do us a favor and politely strike out? Of course he can. Thank you, sir. And that is the end of the fourth. We are still 2-0 up. Just the one hit given up by the Hoff through four. That is very impressive. Mills Jr., who is two for two. He comes up to bat now. Uh, first pitch swing. He has grounded at the third base. And that will be the first out of the top of the fifth. Brings up Leo Burra, who's 0 for 1. What can he do? Burra grounds it there to first base. And that will be two away. Two outs, three pitches thrown. Not ideal. We'd like to get into their bullpen a little bit quicker if we could. Friedendorfer comes up now. He's one for one today. One and two's the count. Friedendorfer strikes out. It's a very, very quick fifth innings. Not ideal. Let's see what the Hoff can do with Adrizana, who is 0 for 1. One and two's the count. And the Hoff sits him down. Excellent stuff. This is an absolute masterclass from Hoff, isn't it? Nine strikeouts through four and a third. Still comes up to bat. He's 0 for 1. That is popped up. Vockel is there in center field. It should be a simple catch for him. It is. And that is two away. Brings up Bolzer. He is 0 for 1 today. 3 and 0 is the count. And that is well hit. Going back. Oh, what a catch by Drew Campbell. What a catch by Drew Campbell. A stunning, stunning effort out there in left field. That ends the innings. Uh, Hoff gives him a big high five as he goes off, I'm sure, because he saved him extra bases there. And it's Prade to lead us off. Still looking for 100 hit of his career. Come on. And there it is. Julian Prade, 100 hits in his career. Amazing stuff. Well done to you, sir.
So Reichert's now with the runner at first. He's 0 for 2 today. And make that 1 for 3 as last week's player of the week delivers the single. That's 2 on, none out. And a good opportunity here for Vockel to try and drive in some runs. He's 0 for 2 today. Not had a great time of things. 1 and 1's the count. He has. Run, Vockel. Run, Vockel. Oh, he just about beats it out the double play there. But 1 away. Runners at the corners for Pape. Just turned into a double play, mate. He's already got one hit today. You never know. First pitch swing. Pape has hit into it. No, he's got it through. Tony's Pape delivers the RBI single. I did not see that coming. He's continued to surprise me this season. He's actually doing quite a decent job. He's batting, what, 340 now this season. It's Asher, the designated hitter, coming up to bat. He's one for two today. Two on one out. Asher, there's your double play. And that'll do it. But we do extend the lead. It's three to nothing. We keep missing opportunities, though, don't we, to really put this game to bed. It's going to be the Hoff continuing to Burkhard, who's 0 for 1 today. Owen 1's also the count. He looks to lay down a bunt. In comes Friedendorfer. Does he have a play? He does not. Well, he does, but not in time. And it's a leadoff single with Cohn coming up to bat, who's 0 for 1. Owen uh, 2 and 0's the count. That could be a double play. There's one. Pape over to Burra. Burra over to Roshak. And that is an amazing, amazing double play. And that is two out. No one on for Borna, who is 0 for 2 today. 3 and 0's the count. And the Hoff walks. First walk he's uh, given up today. Christoph comes in. Now, he's the only guy well, that's got a proper hit, other than the stupid little infield thing. Uh, and he's got a second one, has he? It's Friday's coming in. He cannot get there. And the runner looks to go to third, and he's going to get there. So with two out, we have runners at the corners. Cristiano comes up to bat. He's 0 for 2 today. Just a little bit of a panic moment here for the half. Oh, he goes for the pickoff and he gets him. He gets him. What a, what a move from the half. That ends the innings. Runner stranded at third. It's still 3 to nothing. Drew Campbell to lead us off, who is 0 for 2 today. 0 and 1's the count. Drew Campbell has got a good piece of that and that is out of here. Drew Campbell with the home run. What a hit that is. 406 feet over the right field fence and our American Drew Campbell has given us a 4-0 lead in the top of the seventh. An amazing thing, a first home run of the season for him. Byron Mills Jr. comes up now. He is two for three today. Byron Mills Jr. make that three for four and his batting average continues to soar over 500. What a season he is having and it brings up uh, Burra now. With the runner at first, no one out. He's 0 for 2 today. Burra, first pitch swing, rips it up the middle. That's going to be a single. Is Mills Jr. going to stay at second? Yes, he is. And with no one out, we have runners at first and second for Friedendorfer, who is 1 for 2 today. 1 and 0 is the count. Friedendorfer, oh, he has got all of that. And Friedendorfer with a three-run home run. It's 7 to 0. And are we going to the postseason? It looks... If we do continue to have the head-to-head -head over the Wanderers, as though we are, a three, sorry, a 439-foot home run over center field, a fourth of the season for Friedendorfer. That'll do it for the pitcher. Prade comes in to bat, and it's every, it's looking good for the Flamingos, isn't it? Here we go. Here we go. It is popped up. That's not the best thing Prade's done today. <laughs> and that is, that is one away. All right, Reichert comes up. He's one for three today. What can he do? First pitch swing again. He has also popped it up, and that is two out. I think this pitch has thrown two. two he's thrown two. Has a need to get two outs for Van Mensel as we begin to pity hit. Van Mensel, the center fielder, batting 281 this season, comes in for Vockel. And he has got himself a base hit. Excellent stuff. The reason I've made that change is Vockel has an absolute rocket of an arm. He's thrown out a few players at the plate from center field, so... Defensively, he is very good, and we don't lose too much by way of of, uh, of bats either. Pape now comes in with two out runner at first, and Tonus Pape in danger of getting three hits in the game here, but uh, that wasn't to be. And that'll do it. We stretch with a seven to nothing lead. It's the Hoff to continue to Hono as they pinch hit, and look as though they've given up. He's batting 357 this season, so he's obviously no moron. Looks like one there, though, doesn't he? As Benninghoff strikes out his 10th of the game, he needs three more to go fourth or time. Clawson comes in the bat. He's 0 for 2. 3 and 1 is the count, and that is popped up. Drew Campbell should have that for breakfast. And there it is, two away. 
It is Adrizana now who's 0 for 2. 2 and 1's the count. And that is past Pape and into centre field for a two-out single. Just their fourth hit of the game. Benninghoff to Still, who's 0 for 2 today. 2 and 2's the count. Is this strikeout number 11? Yes, it is. He needs two more to go fourth all-time for a single-season strikeout effort. Asher to lead us off, the new designated hitter. He is 1 for 3 today. Wouldn't say... Oh, he's been hit again there. Wouldn't say he's uh, really got his... But I had to take him out of the ball game. So is that Rochette coming in? Kinnapin's coming to pinch run. Why have we pinched run with the slowest man alive? Anyway, Drew Campbell, who hit a home run last time up. Let's see what he can do. Rochek has been playing... Anyway, that's not... That's not get upset about it. That's going to be... Oh, it's an error at third base. They've given up, haven't they? They've fallen to pieces. And... Well, there we go. We've got two on. No one out. It could, that should have been a double play. It's Mills Jr., who is three for four today. Full count. And he walks to load the bases for Burra, who is one for three today. Let's see what Leo can do. Three and one's the count. And Lee Burra has smashed it down the right field line. That's going to score one. That's going to score two. I don't think it's going to score three. No, it's not. It's a two RBI double for Leo Burra. And, well, it's 9-0. to zero, And if the game wasn't won before, you feel like it probably is now. Friedendorfer, who hit a home run, of course, last time up. 2 for 3 today. 2 and 1's the count. Friedendorfer rips it into center field. And that just about might score 2. We're coming home. We're going to get thrown out at the plate, which is a little bit silly. Friedendorfer stops at second. He just gets the 1, though, for, in terms of RBIs. It's 10-1. to one. Sorry, it's 10-0. to zero. Prade comes in, who is 1 for 3 today. Prade... Pops it up, and that will be two away. And, yeah, stay at second there, Friedendorfer. Thank you, sir. Ray Schertz comes up, who's one for four today. Oh, and two's the count. And he has popped it up. And that'll do it for the top of the eighth. But we extend the lead by three. It's ten to zero. And the Hoff needs two strikeouts to go fourth all time. He's facing a pinch hitter here in shot, I guess. Is that shot? It really is. I don't know what else it would be. Shh. Anyway, uh, it's hopefully out at first. There it is. As uh, Who's our third baseman? Friedendorfer makes the play. One away. Brings up Burkhart, who is not very good. One and one's the count, though. And that is straight to Pape. Over to first. It's out, but he's running out of opportunities here to get these strikeouts. Is the Hoff. It's Webb coming into pinch hit, batting 154. One and one's the count again. That's been well hit into center field. Vockel's going back. It's over his head, though, and it's going to be a two-out double for the pinch-hitting uh, Wanderer there. All right. Oh, no, it's not Vockel. It's Van Mensel out there now, isn't it? All right, it's Borner coming in. He's 0 for 2 today. 2 and 1's the count, and that is up the middle. Is that going to drive in a run? Van Mensel doesn't have the strongest arm, and he cannot prevent the run coming across the plate. It's 10 to 1. Oh, uh, the Hoff, is he fading here? Christoph, who is two for three. He is the one person that has got a bit of a uh, Hoff today. That's been popped up, though. Campbell's out there. Should be a simple catch for him. That'll do it for the eighth. And, well, it's ten to one. You'd like to think this is done. Brown to continue to Van Mensel, who is one for one today. One and one's the count. And he has got it down the third baseline. It should be playable. It is, and that is one away. It in comes now Pape, who is two for four today and doing a really decent job, isn't he? First pitch swing. Pape, oh, he's got himself another hit. He is three hits in a game. Three for five goes Tonis Pape. That's a one-out single. Kinnapin comes in, doesn't need a hit up. He is batting 246 this season. And he has got it through. He has Kinnapin with the single as we have runners now at first and second with one out as Drew Campbell comes in he's one for four that one was a home run full count and he's got a good piece of that rips it into right field is that going to score a run no it is not but it loads the bases for Byron Mills Jr. a new pitcher comes in in Hanson let's see what Byron Mills can do with him though three and one's the count is he going to walk in a run yes he is it's 11 to one Still loaded bases. Still one out. Burra to the plate, who is two for four today. What a chance for Leo Burra to drive in some more runs. And he has not managed to do it. Oh, I thought it was looping over second base for a second then. But no. 
Friedendorf are now in loaded bases. He's three for four today with a home run and four RBIs. One and two to the count. And Friedendorfer, it's going to get in. And it's more RBIs for Friedendorfer. No, it's not. It's just the one as we get thrown out at the plate. And that'll do it for the, uh, for the night. 12-1 is the score. And, well, they need 11 runs to keep their season alive. It's the Hoff coming back out to pitch. He needs two strikeouts. He faces Hono, who is 0 for 1 today. 0-2 to the count. Is this one of them? Yes, it is. All right, he is equal fourth. Have I miscounted there? I'm pretty sure he, he might be equal fourth now, but he needs one more to break it. Lentz comes in. He is pinch hitting, batting 171 this season. First pitch swing. And it is popped up. It should be a simple catch out there for Van Mensel. It is. That's two away. They're down to their final out. We are going to win this game, aren't we? And the Hoff going for a complete game against Adrizana. Two and two's the count. Finish in style. Hoff, no. It's a ground ball to Tonis Pape. Over to first. And boys, head to head. If it goes our way, I think that is us in the postseason. So here we go. We can see here he is tied fourth. So it's not exactly fourth, but it's, it's he's tied fourth. So that's a really, really good effort for Benninghoff as he ends the season. If you're going to have a look at some of the records that he set for us as a club... We can see here he set a new high water mark for wins, 11. I mean, he's all gone second all time in just one season. Uh, if we keep going down, uh, we can see that other records that he set is war for a single season. I mean, he's, he's broken the club record for war in a single season ahead of Abar, who, of course, was quite good for us last season. Um, keep going down here. We can see complete games. He has four of them, again, doubling the previous best. Uh, he doesn't have any shutouts, which is maybe a little bit disappointing. He set a new record for innings pitched in a season, uh, which is sensational. Um, and if we keep going down, are there any others? Walks per nine innings pitched. He set a new record. Strikeouts, he has smashed the record. Um, he's gone second all time in one season, which is ridiculous. Strikeouts per nine innings, he set a new record. Uh, strikeouts per, uh, per walk issued, he set a new record. Whip, he set a new record as well. Um, it really is. It's just been a fantastic season for Benninghoff. And whatever reverse war is, he set a new record for that as well. You mean that's reverse war? Anyway, um, so yeah, it's been a really, really good uh, good season for Benninghoff. A first season at the club. And let's hope he continues that into the postseason. The Bond Capitals have now officially been eliminated. And well, we'll be back tomorrow or next episode if you're not watching live. I believe, and let me know in the comments if you guys are aware i believe that we will we should we should get there anyway because even if we lose we have a head to head over the dortmund wanderers we split the first series with them 1-1 but we were ahead of them we've smashed them there so as long as they don't beat us by more i'm assuming that that we'll be uh yeah we will be there we'll be uh, we'll be in the postseason which is sensational Byron Mills Jr., look at that. Is Could he get the top batting average for the season? Could he bat over 500 for the season? It's ridiculous to say that he could be doing that. Um, yeah, it's just been, it's been really, really good, guys. We'll be back tomorrow to round off the season against the Dortmund Wanderers. A win, and we'll definitely be in the postseason. A loss, it probably depends how bad it is. Take care.